Hey, my name is Brian, and today I'm gonna be showing you the Kinect 6, a brand new dual USB-C audio interface with game-changing flexibility for musicians and content creators. It has easy to use controls, a modern and portable design, and an intuitive software interface to let you control levels, onboard processing, and signal routing. So right out of the box with the interface, you get two different USB cables, a normal USB-C cable and a USB-A to USB-C cable. The interface has a compact and modern design that fits nicely on your desk and gives you easy tactile control over levels and preamp gain. You have two combi jacks to connect XLR microphones and quarter inch instrument sources like synths and keyboards, and two built-in preamps with a whopping 72 dB of gain, enough to power any microphone without needing a cloud lifter or extra inline gain booster. You also have an eighth inch auxiliary input and a USB-C mobile input and output. So there's a ton of flexibility in terms of the types of sources that you can record. In terms of audio outputs, you have two quarter inch analog outputs for studio monitors, a stereo eighth inch output, and two different headphone outputs. One with an eighth inch jack and one with a quarter inch jack. The inclusion of the mini and full size jacks means no more digging through your drawers for adapters. Let's talk about setting up the Kinect 6 with a laptop. Using one of the provided USB cables, connect one end into the computer USB port on the back of the interface and the other end to a USB port on your laptop. And it's compatible with Mac, PC, iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. After you've plugged in the interface, select Connect 6 from the available inputs and outputs in your system audio or the inputs and outputs of whatever software application you happen to be using. To unlock the full potential of Connect 6, you'll want to install its companion software, Control Center. Control Center is a powerful and intuitive software interface that gives you access to every control on your interface, including onboard DSP processing and extensive signal routing options, making it easier than ever to set up live streams, create content, and capture high quality studio recordings. Installation is easy. Just download the installer for either Mac or PC from the Lewitt website and follow the prompts for installation. After installing Control Center, you'll have access to Connect 6's powerful onboard DSP, including a compressor, an EQ, an expander, and a maximizer, allowing you to refine your sound in real time without using processing power from your computer and enjoying near zero latency. To make things easy and speed up your process, the auto setup function analyzes your recording environment and your signal in order to set your level, remove any background noise, and create a custom signal chain tailored to you. You can choose to bypass any of these plugins or manually adjust them to your liking after running auto setup. All right, let's look at routing options. So Control Center visually lays out all of your audio inputs and outputs, as well as a loopback channel to record your computer's system audio and extra software channels for advanced routing possibilities. Routing is easy with Control Center. By using the drop-down menus on the analog outputs and the loopback channel, you can choose to monitor any audio source, software channel, or customized mix. You can easily create custom mixes by sending your inputs or your software channels to either Mix A or Mix B. From there, you can select the appropriate mix in the drop-down menu of any output channel. You can also control the maximizer for each mix. Connect 6 can also be used as a standalone device for mixing applications by connecting it to a power source using the USB-C port labeled power on the back of the interface. You can use the pushable knob to set your preamp gain, your headphone levels, and your monitor levels, and it'll retain any settings you programmed in Control Center after disconnecting from a laptop. The Connect 6 has been designed with a streamlined user interface that allows you to control all of your input and output levels via one knob. By pressing down the dial, you can scroll through the gain settings for inputs 1 and 2, headphones 1 and 2, and your main output, and see your level reflected on an LED meter on the interface. There are two different size headphone outputs on the Kinect 6 to accommodate whatever headphones you happen to have on hand. Headphone 1 is an eighth inch jack, and headphone 2 is a quarter inch jack. 
You also have independent volume control and routing so that you can easily create custom headphone mixes to make sure the person that's recording and the person that's performing have the right balance of what they need to hear. Simply go to Control Center and dial in your headphone mixes by adjusting the faders next to the inputs and sending them to either mix A or mix B. Then make sure to choose the appropriate mix in the headphone drop-down menu. The Connect 6 is also super easy to use with studio monitors or consumer audio speakers with two balanced TRS audio outputs and a stereo eighth inch output on the back panel of the interface. You can also create custom mixes for your studio monitors or choose from a list of individual source options in Control Center. Getting started recording with a microphone is easy with Connect 6. It comes equipped with two combi jacks and two built-in high-quality preamps with phantom power. With 72 dB of clean gain on tap, you can power any low output microphone without the need for an inline gain booster. Simply plug in the XLR cable and go to control center to turn on phantom power if you're using a condenser microphone. You can then set the preamp gain using the knob on the interface or the virtual knob inside Control Center. To make things even easier, you can use Auto Setup to set the gain for you. Simply go to Control Center and click Auto Setup on your mic channel, answer a couple of questions about the gear you're using, and follow the prompts for a quick sound check, and in less than a minute, you'll be up and running. Any signal coming through the two mic inputs will be on inputs one and two in your DAW. Be sure to turn off software monitoring to avoid hearing a duplicate signal in your headphones. You can also plug in instruments like synthesizers, keyboards, and guitars, and other types of audio devices to either the combi jack, quarter inch input, or the auxiliary jack, eighth inch input on the back of the interface. This makes it really easy to plug and play without searching for extra adapters, and you can set your level manually or through auto setup like we did in the previous example. If you plug in a device to the auxiliary input, it will come through on inputs 3 and 4 in your software application, leaving open inputs 1 and 2 for other sources. One of the unique features of the Connect 6 is that it's compatible with mobile devices and you can either receive or send out audio to a mobile device with a single USB-C port. And this port will also charge your mobile device as long as you're plugged into a dedicated power source. Just connect your device to the USB-C port labeled mobile on the back of your interface and in control center the input and output meters will appear for your mobile device. In order to record audio from your device, just select inputs 5 and 6 on a record enabled stereo channel in your DAW and play audio from the device and then hit record. You can also easily send audio out from your mobile device. Just go to control center and go to the mobile output drop down list and choose the source that you would like to send to your mobile device. You can also create a custom mix of various sources. All you need to do is adjust the faders on the side of the input sources to either mix A or mix B, and then select that mix in the drop down menu of the mobile output channel. Connect 6 is also a perfect option for live streams. You can use it with your laptop and stream to your mobile device or use it as a standalone device. The Connect 6 has audio loopback, which is a very useful feature allowing you to capture your computer's system audio and record it in a specific software application. Audio loopback is a really useful feature in all kinds of music and content creation applications. Say for instance, you want to record a reference track directly into your DAW from a streaming service, or maybe you want to record a podcast interview in which one participant is calling in over Zoom. These are all scenarios when loopback would be really helpful. So let's look at how to use the Connect 6 to record a podcast in which one guest is calling in over Zoom. So let's say we're recording a podcast with two live guests and a remote guest calling in through Zoom, and we want to be able to record everyone on separate audio tracks. To do this, you'll want to adjust some settings in your DAW first. Open up your preferences and go to the audio section and IO assignments and you'll want to choose a software channel pair other than 1 and 2. 3 and 4 or 5 and 6 should work fine. Usually channels 1 and 2 are the default audio output for applications like Zoom, so by selecting a different channel pair you can avoid creating a feedback loop. 
You'll also want to go to your general settings and disable software monitoring to make sure you don't hear a duplicate of the signal in your headphones. Next, you'll want to adjust a setting in Control Center. Just go to the loopback channel and open up the drop down menu. Make sure you've selected outputs 1 and 2. Now everything should be routed properly so you can record people on separate tracks. Go back to your DAW, make sure that you have a track created for each guest and the Zoom guest, and now we're going to set our inputs. Guest 1 is going to be on input 1, guest 2 is going to be on input 2, and the Zoom guest is going to be coming through loopback, which is on channels 7 and 8. Now record and enable each track. Now you can hit record and everyone will be recorded on a separate track for easier editing and mixing later. The Connect 6 is also the perfect option for live streaming. You can create two independent customizable mixes that can integrate a variety of input sources including from mobile devices and your computer's system audio and create a separate mix for your broadcast feed and your headphone monitoring. So let's look at how to set this up in Control Center. To set up the broadcast mix, we'll use Mix A. First, send outputs 1 and 2 to Mix A using the fader, and I'm going to send my own voice to Mix A as well. And let's say we have an auxiliary input as well. So now we have our broadcast feed, and for this example, we'll pretend that we are streaming through a mobile device, and I'll go down to Mobile Out and select Mix A. Now the mobile device should be getting everything. Next, we'll create Mix B, which will be the headphone mix, and it'll have everything except for my own voice, because maybe I don't want to hear my own voice in my headphones because I find it distracting. So I'm going to send outputs 1 and 2, and then I'm going to send the auxiliary input, and then I'm going to go to headphone 2, which I'm currently monitoring, and select Mix B. Now I can hear everything except for myself. If you're streaming to another application, you can set your streaming location to channels 9 and 10, which correspond to the left and right channels of Mix A. So that's an overview of all the features of the Connect 6 audio interface and control center software from Lewitt. It's a powerful, portable, and extremely flexible audio interface for all types of creators, and it's been designed to make the process of recording audio easy, intuitive, and enjoyable. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see any of the other more detailed specs, head over to lewitt-audio.com. If you got something out of this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with more helpful content like this. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Make yourself heard.